Hi everybody, Little Pepper Lady here. Today is Saturday. It's May 18th, 2019. My son is sitting across from me, so he's giving me funny faces because that's what he likes to do. Anyway, so I was sitting around and I was like, there's so many things that I want to talk about, but I don't want to get too politically um, into things. I, you know, want to try to keep my channel, um, you know, just showcasing headlines of important things that are happening, especially things that are going to be happening to us as preppers. Um, because that's what my channel is all about, essentially, is prepping. But, you know, prepping and the family unit and things like that. So I was sitting around today and I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, I don't really want to talk about this. This is too political. This is too political. You know, this doesn't really affect me as a prepper. This won't affect other people as a prepper. So I was racking my brain, um, you know, about something to come on and speak to you guys about today. And uh, then it dawned on me. I was actually uh, text messaging Ed and I was like, you know, I'm just having a hard time coming up with a video today. And uh, he's actually down in Pennsylvania. Um, he took his bike out with a friend today. So um, I was like, I j I'm just having a hard time, you know, coming up with something to talk about. And uh, then I was like, ooh, I feel really off today. I don't know why I feel off today. And then I remembered it's a full moon. And they're still working on trying to scientifically prove this, not prove this. So I don't know. And I don't know how everybody out there feels. But when it's coming up to a full moon and then the day of the full moon is the worst and then like a few days after the full moon i feel totally off i will my it's like my emotions and my body is on an emotional roller coaster so you know i'll be fine and i'll be happy and energetic and then all of a sudden i'm just like <sighs> i feel drained and you know my brain is like ADD almost like I don't know what I was doing why why was I doing that where am I what's going on and I've noticed it you know is always around that time um you know that the full moon is coming up and today just happened to be a full moon so normally I personally feel you know very lethargic and just kind of out of it during a full moon but there are people who you know get very energetic very happy very like good vibes all over and they're like go 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 so it affects everybody differently and when they say there's no scientific proof uh to show that it does affect the human body when you hear everybody well not everybody but a majority of people saying yeah you know i feel this way today or i feel this way today and i normally don't feel like that you know and it's around that full moon time um it's kind of hard to defute that and say eh, it's not having an effect on me um it's almost just like the seasons, you know, the the moon goes in a cycle over, you know, the 28, I think it's 28.4 day or 29, 29.4 days that it goes, you know, around the earth. Um, so it goes in cycles, you know, you have the new moon, the full moon, and then all of the, the crescent moon phases. Um, it's been a long time since I've been in school and I don't really pay attention to those. Um, but during like the new moon phase, you know, a lot of people feel like calm and at ease um, and things like that. And then everything kind of gets heightened up during the, the full moon. And uh, there actually was a correlation that was found. Individuals who have schizophrenia, during a full moon, they have found that they exhibit about 1.8% greater violent and aggressive behavior. So the fact that they have been doing studies you know, correlating the moon phases, spe spe bleh, specifically the full moon with increased rates and in violence and aggression um, is a huge thing because they have proven that the moon obviously has the gravitational pull and it does show an effect on, you know, lakes and oceans. Um, during the full moon time when the pull is very strong, uh, there are, you know, increases in wave size, um, wavelength, thing like, things like that um, within the oceans and the lakes that are on Earth, especially those, you know, um, in certain areas that are closest to the moon, uh, however the moon is, you know, tilted, however the Earth is tilted, things like that. Um, so we are not a large body of water, obviously, we're just humans, but our body is made up of 70% water. So, 
in my thinking, if the gravitational pull is so great that it's having an effect on our oceans and our lakes and changing the size and the length of the waves um, that are coming across those large bodies of water, who's to say it's not affecting the water that's within our body that we, you know, are made up of? And I personally believe that it does. It absolutely does. Um, it's almost like a, a human tidal waves. And uh, I feel like we have those along with the moon as well. So our emotions, you know, go up and down. Um, a lot of people during this time, like I said, some people do experience like the heightened like happiness and things, but there is a lot, a lot of um, people who experience very tired feeling, which is like myself today, I'm just really, really tired. And I slept really good last night. Um, and that's another thing too. Uh, they did say that they are starting to find correlations between um, the full moon phase and the fact that people are not getting solid sleep, you know, a night or two nights before and during and a few days after. Um, they're not getting that steady, normal, solid sleep. I slept fine last night, but I have a feeling that tonight I'm not going to be sleeping very good. I, I can almost tell, you know, how I'm going to be sleeping that night just based on, you know, how my body feels. So other people have um, exhibited signs of like depression, uh, increased depression, or depression when they're not, uh, you know, they don't have any depressive symptoms originally, um, or anxiety, people who normally aren't anxious get very anxious around this time. Um, and in people who already have those things, those things just seem to be heightened. Uh, my stepdaughter, she has a lot of anxiety into she's been fine all week. Um, you know, she hasn't had any issues with her anxiety and today she's just with her anxiety. And my daughter this week, she actually has anxiety as well. And she, uh, she's been pretty anxious this week. So, um, I'm sitting here just from the things that I'm experiencing saying, I feel like there's something to this. I feel like the moon is having a huge effect on, you know, our emotions, our bodies, how we feel feel, our appetites, our sleep patterns, just us as a whole all the way around. Um, you know, I definitely think that it's it's having an effect on us. Um, I hope they do more research on this. I think it's a huge thing. I'm fascinated by the moon, the stars, you know, um, all of that kind of stuff and astrology especially, which, you know, a lot of this dates back to um, very, very early times. Um, ancient Roman empires and things, uh, people were very weary of a full moon. Um, they played very co close attention to the things that were going on um, around them and in their communities, um, you know, during the full moon time just because they believed, you know, that the moon does have an effect on us. And there are actually places in the world, I don't know about in the United States specifically, but I know that over in Great Britain, um, when it is time for a full moon, they do heighten their police uh, around their cities in certain areas over there just because they have seen increases in violent behavior and uh, agitation and, um, you know, depression. Crime rates have gone up um, and there, you know, there isn't enough scientific evidence to prove it, but it does seem to be leaning that way um, that the moon is having an effect on all of these people's emotions and causing those things to occur, you know, within them. So very interesting stuff. I'm going to keep doing my own research on it. I just thought it was a great topic for today and the way that I'm feeling. I want everybody to let me know how they're feeling today, if the full moon is affecting you at all or if it's not affecting you at all. I want to know. I think it's great um, to be able to get on here and speak with you guys. I try to get back to everybody on their comments and I love to hear your feedback on everything. So let me know how today is affecting you with the full moon. Are you super anxious? Are you super sad? Are you really tired? Do you have a lot of energy? Like what's going on with you? I want to hear all of that. So that's all I have for today, guys. Um, as always, everything happens for a reason. If you're having a good day, if you're having a bad day, if you're in a good situation, if you're in a bad situation, you're on that journey for a reason. Stick with it. Everything's going to be okay. And always remember, forget about the past. The past is gone. You can't do anything about the past. Let's be focused on the future, but be living in the now.
Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We all could not be here tomorrow. So be living, be loving, and be laughing now and enjoying your life now, but be focused on the future at the same time. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And uh, I will be doing a video tomorrow. And then I'll see most of you on the live stream over on Prepper Nurse One. Have a good day, guys.